Hey everyone, how's it going? Sam here. In this video, I want to show you how I achieved this grainy looking gradient effect on my website. And as an added bonus, we're going to add another gradient that follows your cursor around on the website, um, which makes it a bit more interactive, a bit more fun. Um, so yeah, let's go check that out. So to start off, we need to go to the Grady Gradient Playground. The link will be in the description. And this will help us set up the SVG needed to achieve this effect. So the first step is to sort of define how much grain you want, what you want it to look like. Um, so you define stuff like its frequency and its octaves. Um, so yeah, something like that's pretty good. Uh, maybe not as big. Um, and as you can see, you can sort of play around and get a feel for it. Um, I'll leave that up to you. Next up is the gradient. So for this to work, you need to add a second color. And let's go with a nice purple. So you'd add it and nothing's happening. Uh, that's because you need to um, lower the alpha a bit. And as you can see, you know, 100% it's completely pink um, and you can't really see much grain if you lower the alpha you can start seeing grain so I'm going to leave it at something like that and then adjust the angle um, something yeah something like that um, I did play around it with it in my code afterwards directly on the website to find a better gradient um, so I recommend that I wouldn't recommend adding more gradients because it just completely ruins the effect. Um, or at least I couldn't find any really like nice looking um, colors. Uh, so I didn't add a second color. Um, it just, yeah, it just doesn't work very well. So I'm gonna bin that, keep that as is. Next up, um, the result. So what you want to do is here you've got a URL to your noise SVG. So maybe if you used Photoshop, you could use that. I'm just gonna inline uh, the SVG. So we've got this one here uh, inside the actual SVG code. It's not very long, so I don't really mind that too much. Um, and you can then adjust the brightness and the contrast, which can affect uh, how it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. So I'm using React. You can use this with just HTML, uh, JavaScript, and CSS. I'm yeah just using uh, React for the moment. So I've got my blank website, and I've gone ahead and just set up um, just a few things. So here I've got some event listeners. I'm listening for mouse move. We're going to do that later on, and the cleanup function. I'm just going to comment that out. Um, so now, okay, our website's loading. So in the CSS, you can go ahead and paste in uh, the code you got. So there we go. And if you leave it like that, you've got width and height of 250. It's gonna be super small. Um, I just remove that, put it down there and do 100 view height. Uh, so it's full screen. That's not looking too bad actually. Um, and rather than having this, even though it's working pretty well, uh, I think you can do two bottom right. Yeah, so I, I just prefer using that. Um, so there you go. If you're happy with that, just leave it as is. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so next up is the gradient following our cursor. So to achieve that, I'm going to add a radial gradient. And I believe it's just two colors. Uh, it's just a white color for the first one. And I think I did 0 0.5. And then it's just 0, 0, 0. And 0 0.5. Okay, and we need a apostrophe. Okay, so you can sort of see it there. So now that that's working, let's do the JavaScript code. 
So I'm using React, as I said. Um, if you're using just vanilla JavaScript, just ignore this use effect and um, ignore the cleanup. Just add an event listener for the mouse move to your like move gradient function. Um, and it will work the same way. So const move gradient. And I can't type, there we go. And the event. So what we need to do is grab the width and height of the window. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's just do window width, window inner width, window height, inner height. Okay. And now we need a percentage of where the cursor is at. So let's do constant um, mouse x equals math.round event page x divided by the width times 100. Copy paste that, mouse y, event page y, and window height. Next up, um, I put a reference on this div, so the one that contains like the gradient, um, all the gradient classes. So I'm going to do if app ref, app ref current style and set property. And so here we're actually gonna set this value onto the div and then grab it in the CSS. Um, so we're going to do mouse x to string plus percentage. I think that's correct. Oh no, we need um, the variable name dash dash, let's call it mouse x mouse dash x i guess that should be okay do the same for the y uh, mouse y okay no errors page is still loading and so obviously it's not gonna move just yet but if you inspect it the style we've got this mouse x mouse y and it's a percentage of where the cursor is at in the screen. So all the way to the right is 100, all the way down is 100 on the Y. So next up, we need to modify this white uh, radial gradient to follow our cursor. Okay, so you need to write at um, var, and you don't need any quotes, just mouse X, var mouse Y, save that and now the um, white gradient is following your mouse so it doesn't look like it's following um, the mouse as well as the demo I did in the start and I'm wondering if that's because of the the gradient setups so I'm just gonna grab what I did before Paste that back in here. Uh, just add at um, I just want to test this out. Mouse Y. Okay, so yeah, I think it's because of the gradient setup, because uh, here it's like pretty centered on the mouse. So yeah, that's one thing to to watch out on. Uh, obviously you can go ahead and copy this. It'll be in the description in a code pen uh, if you want this gradient set up. So there we have it. If this video helped you out, consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials coming up. Like, comment, and subscribe, all that normal YouTube stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.